it says the husband should fulfill his wife's sexual needs. What does it say? Oh, so it says the husband should fulfill his wife's sexual needs. And the wife should fulfill her husband's needs. Let me get this understood. This Bible said the husband. So the fact that, that we're doing this before you a husband or before you a wife is automatically no. Like, it's just not even good. It's not even a husband and a wife should fulfill, you know, their partner's sexual needs. Not somebody out, not, not, not before marriage, not before marriage. Not before marriage, because how do you know if you want to marry this person? How do you know if this person is really for you? You know? The wife gives authority over her body to her husband. The wife gives authority over her body to her husband. And the same goes for the husband to his wife. Child, do we not understand? So, so basically, that's basically saying... Not a boyfriend and not a girlfriend gives authority over their body to that partner, but a husband and a wife. Be fruitful and multiply. Yes, Patrick. Be fruitful and multiply. Woo! With your husband and with your wife. Woo! Not with your girlfriend and not with your boyfriend, but with your husband and with your wife. If you keep yourself pure... You will be a special utensil for honorable you. Hey, he said, if you keep yourself pure, you will be a special utensil for honorable use. Woo, I can relate that to us virgins. We keep ourselves pure and we stay virgins until marriage. We are a special we become a special utensil for our spouse. Did you not know such a thing for honorable use? We honoring God in this thing, babe. Woo, that's good. I love this scripture.